This demonstration will show you how Oxygen XSLT X Query Profiler works. Whether you are trying to identify a performance issue that is causing your production XSLT X Query transformation not to meet your customer expectations, or you are trying to proactively identify issues prior to deploying the transformation, using the Oxygen Profiler feature is essential in helping you save time and ultimately ensure a better performing more scalable XSLT XQuery transformation. The XSLT XQuery profiling feature can use any available XSLT XQuery processors that could be used for debugging and it is available in the Oxygen debugging perspective. First, we'll see how you can use the XSLT profiler. In our demo project, we have prepared an XML file and two style sheets that identify the duplicate lines from the XML file. We switch to XSLT debugger perspective. We'll use the Oxygen Profiler tool to identify the potential performance problems in the first style sheet. We turn on the profiler by pressing this button from the debugger control toolbar. Note that the invocation tree view and the hotspots view are automatically added at the lower part of the screen they will collect information about the style sheet's performance. Now we start the transformation. The process ended and the results are displayed in the two views. Using this style sheet, the transformation takes more than 4 seconds. In the profiler hotspots view, you can immediately spot the time the processor spent to execute each instruction. Expanding a hotspot, you can see all the different paths that instruction was called from. Using the invocation tree view, you can examine how style instructions are processed in a top-down manner. This result view is also named call tree as it represents the order of style processing. The profiling result shows the duration time for each of the style instructions, including the time needed for its called children. In any of the two views, you can use the backmapping feature to find the XSLT stylesheet or XQuery expression definition. When you double click the selected item, Oxygen XML Editor highlights the XSLT stylesheet or XQuery expression source line where the instruction is defined. The second stylesheet is an evolution of the first one and uses an optimized algorithm to look for duplicate lines. Now let's run the transformation again, but this time we use the optimized style sheet. As you can see, the execution time has been dramatically improved. The profiling data can be saved into XML and HTML reports. We'll save the hotspots in HTML format using an action from the views contextual menu. Similarly, we save the report in XML format. After the file is saved, it is automatically open in the editor view. You can customize the profiling output from the view settings contextual action. Here you can customize the amount of information displayed on each line of the invocation and hotspots view, set the time scale, define a threshold to focus only on the most time consuming calls, and a percentage calculation method. Similarly, you can use the XQuery profiler to find performance leaks in XQuery expressions. This time we switch to XQuery debugger perspective. The profiling workflow is identical to the one presented in the first part of this demonstration. Select the input files, turn on profiling, execute the transformation and inspect the results. And this concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching. You can find more information about this topic in the Oxygen User Manual.